Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode I'm going to answer one of those questions that I get all the time. And that is, how do I add a Tumblr blog to my Muse website? Or how do I add a shopping cart? Or how do I add a blank? In other words, something that Muse doesn't do natively. How do you add it into your existing Muse design and your site? We love the ability to use Muse to create a site without having to write the code. It does a beautiful job for us automatically. But what if I need to get something into my site that Muse doesn't do? Well, Muse, as of today's date, <laughs> whatever it is, doesn't do blogging. It's not a CMS, content management system. It has no engine, no back end to handle blogging unless you're going to put a back end on it, like Business Catalyst or something else. So people are usually content taking a blog that they've already created somewhere else and just simply having it as part of their site design. Now I've shown ways to do that just from the navigation standpoint, like creating a blog in your menu and then having that blog when someone clicks on it or taps on it actually go to the real blog, like a WordPress blog or something. But in the case of Tumblr, you kind of want people to come to stay on your site. So I, that's kind of one of those special circumstances where I don't want to just provide a link that takes them over to Tumblr. I actually want to put the Tumblr blog right on the page. So that's what we're gonna. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna answer that question once for all. Now it will involve one line of code that you will have to use. I'm gonna put the line of code in the video so that you can just pause the video, type it yourself, and away you go. But I'll also show it to you how to put it in, where it goes, so forth and so on. So here's what here's what I've done so far. I've got a site um, that's pretty much ready to go. I added a blank page called blog, added it into the menu, which of course if you're using a Muse menu, it's automatic, but this has got a custom menu. So I had to go in and actually make a text box and actually uh, have it link to the blog um, page that I added. So that's because I'm using a manual menu. But anyway, once you've got your page there, now we're going to go to the page and actually add the blog. So there's one thing we need to know right off the bat. If you're using design elements like this, where we've got a menu, a colored bar, some social media icons, all of that stuff, then you probably don't want to, the blog to cover that stuff up. So again, as I've shown many times, you want to work in layers. So I'm going to go to my layers panel. By default, you you have a layer one. That's what you've been working on, unless you changed it. And we're just going to go ahead and rename that nav. That's our navigation layer. We're going to now create a new layer. Uh, and we're going to call this new layer blog. Because this will be just for our blog. Just like I've in the past, I've shown creating a new layer and perhaps calling that one slideshow. Uh, so you can have as many layers as you want for the different things that you're going to want to put on them. So I put the slideshow layer even below the blog. Okay, so now we're going to go to the blog layer, which is now underneath the nav layer. That's the key part is that it, you want it on the bottom of the nav layer. And we're going to now go up to our object menu. And this is how you insert anything that is coming from another place, coming from something that Muse doesn't do. Insert HTML. You get this nice friendly dialog box that says insert your HTML here. If you know how to type it, you could type it. I could begin typing um, bracket and iframe. Oops, I didn't do bracket. Bracket, there we go. Iframe and so forth and so on. But since, and, and you will type it unless you can find a way to copy and paste it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just grab my code that I'm going to use. I'm going to have it over here in a text document. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in. So just to show it to you, it's iframe source equal the URL to your Tumblr blog. I'm using mine, obviously, terrylwhite.tumblr.com with 100% because I want it to be the width of the page. Height really doesn't matter, but I made it nice and long, 1500. Margin width, zero. Frame border, no. Then close up the iframe. So whatever you're trying to insert into a Muse blog from another place, unless they gave you specific embed code, usually an iframe will work just fine. Now when I click that, it's just going to plop it down on the page. I'm going to need to rework it. So let's click it. It gives it to me on the page. It even gives me a little preview, but it gives it to me in this skinny column that's useless. Let's go ahead and just click on it. Now we can resize it. 
and I want to touch the side. Make sure I get that red highlight. I'm going to go ahead and touch the top. There we go, right about there. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull it over to the side. There we go. And it will refresh. There we go. And we can scroll down and start to see it. Now, the fact that it stops at the bottom and doesn't show at all, don't worry about that. Because as long as your blog has more than a few entries, it will scroll. So now the, the, the only key or the only thing you might want to take a look at is if I pull this up, it's going to go underneath the navigation bar, which is fine by me. But you might want to keep it right at the right at the edge of the navigation because although you might not like this blue bar that's on the Tumblr top of the Tumblr page, your follow and your Tumblr button are pinned. And once you start scrolling, they will stay in place. And I have found that if I do something like this, for example, which looks better, what happens is once this starts scrolling, this will be slightly tucked underneath the banner so it won't look as good. So I'd rather just have the blue just temporarily there because it will go away when someone scrolls anyway. Now, if we preview this page in browser, uh, once I do that, I'll have a full width Tumblr blog with the little follow buttons there. And this is all working. It's even showing me the Tumblr slide out there. If I scroll through, the, this is a blog post I just did today. And here's one I did last night uh, from Instagram and more Instagram. That's usually what's on my Tumblr. And as I'm scrolling, 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 I'm scrolling through my various blog posts. And the, the Muse stuff still works. The um, social media icons are still there. The rollovers for the um, uh, menu are still there. They're still in the menu bar. Everything works as it's supposed to. So all we did was take a Muse site and put a Tumblr blog on one of the pages that we call blog. So if someone clicks on that, they'll get to our Tumblr blog. You'll still make your entries in Tumblr like you always do, but if they want to click on a specific um, entry or a specific link, they can. This is all functional in your um, Muse website. So that answers that question I keep getting over and over again. Terry, please, please, please show us how to do a Tumblr blog on Muse. That's all it is. It's just taking the code, which I will make available in the video. So it's just taking the code You'll paste that code and away you go. So that's it for this episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.